Okay, Oak Rovers, this is going to be a video to help you find the area of the sector if you're given an interior angle. Now, in order to do this problem, I first have got to kind of define a little bit of vocabulary. A sector is just a part of the circle. In this problem, the sector is going to be the green part, which is just part of a circle. An interior angle is going to be the angle from this line right there all the way across to there. So I'm going to call that the interior angle. Now when I solve this problem, I'm going to use proportions. And in this problem, I have both the whole circle and the sector of the circle that I'm going to use. So I've already kind of labeled that down here. I have the total circle, and then I have the sector of the circle. Now, since I know the radius of this sector is 15 inches, it's possible for me to find the area of the total circle. I also know that a circle has 360 degrees. And I know that this sector has an angle of 115 degrees. Because of this, I'm going to use my angle and my area as the two variables I'm going to look at. Now, I'm going to put over here in this box, I'm going to have the angle of the sector which I'm given in the problem, which is 115. So I'm going to put the angle of the sector as 115. I know that there's 360 degrees in a circle, so I'm going to put 360 degrees there. And then I have to find the area of the sector. I'm going to put x there. And since I know my radius is 15, I can solve for the area of the whole circle. I'm going to do that by using the area formula area is equal to pi r squared and since the radius in this problem is 15 it's going to be pi times 15 squared 15 times 15 is 225 so my area is equal to 225 pi and then if I take 225 times 3.14 I get 706.5 inches squared so the area of the whole circle is going to be 706.5 and I'm going to try and find that. I'm going to use that information to help me find the area of the sector. So right down here, I'm going to put 706.5. Now when I cross multiply this, I'm going to take 360 and multiply it by x. And I'm going to set that equal to 115 times 706.5. So there's my first line of my cross multiplying. Now, the next part, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take 360 times x, and I'm going to take 115 times 706.5. So I'm just basically multiplying out both sides. And I end up getting 360x is equal to 81,247.5. Now, to finish solving for this, I have to divide both sides by 360 because i got to undo multiplying x by 360. So when I do that, I get x is equal to 225.6875 inches squared. And that is the area of the sector, because that's what I'm trying to find. So in this problem, I know that my area of this sector is 225.6875 inches squared. And that is how you solve problems when you're trying to find the area of a sector if you're given the interior angle.